So another inductee into the Hall of Fame was a gentleman by the name of Graham Smart. And over here, we'll just spin around, is his son David, who was also inducted into the Hall of Fame. You might as well come into the picture, Dave. Congratulations, both of you. Pretty special day for you. Right now, Graham, um, Dave here suggests that you were probably the oldest inductee into the hall yesterday, and I'd, I'd be inclined to, to believe him. And that's got nothing to do with your looks, mate. You look pretty healthy, <laughs> and no, we hope you stay no, safe for a long I nine, time. I was 90 on the 17th of March. Were you indeed? 1933. Well, happy birthday from Thank March. I'm much. seven months late, but hey, you can't and win them all. Ben, I've never had a grey hair in my head. Never had a grey hair in my head. Excuse me, son. Now look at us. Yeah, look, I, 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 know, I know the feeling. <laughs> been there, been there, done that. Right. So, um, uh, did you know this was happening yesterday, Graham? Yes. yes. Yeah, David Graham said he was going to duck to me. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess you get to an age where you don't really want surprises yeah, to you. Yeah, never had to be a bit. And I, I really didn't think it was for my type of thing because I thought I'd only had billy cards, you know. They were big trucks back in those. What, what do you call? What do you call a billy cart? Well, he started oh. off with bed. Well, he started off with a bloody ute. Started off with a ute. And yeah. Wasn't big enough, so he put bought a trailer and put beyond that. Then he bought a truck, and that wasn't big enough, so he cut that tray in half and built that bigger. Whatever he had, he always cut in half and made it bigger. Even his semis, that well, yeah, one was from the tray trucks from the eighteen foot back in those days. And then he cut one of them and put a lazy axle on that, and made that twenty five foot. And he had a brand new Ford, and he cut that in half and put a single axle trailer on that. And he sold that one and bought a bigger one. That's when the 34 footers came out and bought a 36 foot trail. And yeah, you get bogey when you had then a Dodge. And then um, sold that business after that. And you went driving, then you're driving a brand new 1418 for digger. Yeah, every weekend, yeah. yeah. Take a Sydney next to it. So, it seems that everybody drove a 14 18 yeah. at, at yeah, some stage. Yes. Yeah, slow but reliable. Yeah, yeah, like bulletproof. Yep. 692 on it, didn't you? Yep. Still carton fruit. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so you're, you're a bit of a father of invention when it came to, uh, to, to your trucks and, and adapting them to whatever role yeah, they were yeah. needed for. I had taxis. We had six taxis. There was, no, there was no public transport back in those days. No, we, no women drivers, no yeah. government cars. Oh, nothing. No. So we started them. And that was at Beechworth? Yes, at Beechworth. Yeah, which is where you said earlier you're from. Yep. So, and, and you were born at? Yakadanda. So, in your 92 years, you've travelled how far? 13 miles. 13 miles. <laughs> hey, it's a nice part of the world. I can see good reason for staying there. Yes, it's, right. uh, it's a lovely spot. A bit unaffordable for the average Joe these days. That's it's right. gone through the roof, particularly Yak. When I got, uh, when I got out of those... Um, Mayday Hills, there's a big hospital, mental hospital in Beechworth. Yes. I drove up there for 19 years. Okay. A car driver. Mm -hmm. And um, when they closed, I went driving coaches for Beechworth bus lines. The He's also the youngest one to hold a licence for the longest bus back in the days, when, when he first got his licence. Yeah. Which was Parkinson's bus line in Beechworth those days. Mm -hmm. Yep. How old were you then? Um, 18. 18. 18. Drove the biggest, or the longest bus. Yeah, it was only a 39 seater, but that had to give a special license because that was the biggest. Back then, yeah. Yeah, yeah and that was before the road was sealed between Beechworth and Yak and Wangaratta. Gee, that would have been a goat track, would it not? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true too. Yeah, yeah. Well, 36, 36 forward. And then with his trucks, like he was, um, everything was in 44 gun trucks because there was no wheel stations. Mm. No forklifts, no nothing. Yeah. And he had one of the first forklifts in Beechworth at a particular time then, when he had the transport. Right, so I, was, I think I was talking to uh, one of the, the group the other day, and forklifts is the main part of your business these days, is that right? Yeah, oh, yeah. it wasn't back then. Yeah. Well, you ask these folks up here cutting wool and that, like they all loaded all off the ground and stuff, but yeah, he was loading apples and that for like fruit. Yeah. Loading them in wooden man, boxes yeah. and you had to slide down bloody hills. And, Mud and shit all over. Mm -hmm. like one of them was cutting an apple when I was about that age, but yeah, wooden boxes sliding down hills and loading them and up to the Sydney markets. Mm. Yeah, she was all arms strong in those Two days ago, I think. Strong in the arms and weak in the head. So, Dave, you're second generation. Yes. Yep, and uh, fill us a bit on, a little bit on your, uh, your history. 
well, grew up with him and yeah, just um, he was me sort of main man, what you took after you. And, yeah, look, from the age of two, three year old, I've been with him all my life. And, then uh, got my car license, wasn't doing enough. I brought a Courier run when I first started. Then wasn't doing enough miles, so then I brought a truck and then uh, brought another one. And uh, had them for a few years. Then went driving in Shepparton and Wangaratta. And um, moved up here in Queensland. Drove one of the first DAP in Australia, Computer Express. And um, started running the ADMs and that up here all around Australia because there was no, they were the first ADMs into, into Australia and no one had them and automatic t um, tell machines, you know, and things. Yep. Um, so I've seen a fair bit of Australia real quick doing that. And then, um, what did I do then? Kept driving to about 2010. Mm -hmm. And then I started my own earth urban business, tippers and bobcats and still doing the same thing now. Which you're doing today. And, and you've got a, a, a pretty special Kenworth, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Better tell yeah, us yeah. about that. Uh, well, we started making a ride on Warmo racing one. And we got a bit jack of that. But then we um, thought we'd make a little something we could take the kids for a ride on. That sort of didn't happen because of all the insurances and all the bullshit. So um, we thought we'd do the next best thing we love doing. Drinking piss and making something we could take to Bathurst. So we started making this truck and um, then we ended up getting it finished what we, the way we wanted it. Yeah, we worked out it was too fast, so we made it a bit longer, which I got that off my father. <laughs> Put a quad axle behind that, and um, we, that was my barbecue. So we got a one of a thing, one of the only ones in Australia. Yeah. There it is. There it is. That's a, a miniature. miniature Kenworth uh -huh. 1980, uh, 1980 model Aerodyne stretch cap. And it holds a stubby or three on it top? It holds 30 cartons on ice. <laughs> Those it's a road train. train. Yeah, and it's got a quad dog on the back of that, and that's my barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get a photo of you of yeah. it so uh, we can pop it up here. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Congratulations yeah. to you both. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, as I said, I'm just down the road, so we will uh, we will drop by and yeah. uh, and say good day. Cheers. Yeah, I'll get